Welcome to my year in artwork, where we address uh, my accountability to what I've made. The expectations versus the reality of it all. Did I fail, flail, thrive, survive, strive, sink, swim? Happy holiday, happy holidays, and happy new year, one and all. Today I'm doing something similar to what I did around this time last year. Though now I'm living in Utah again. I was in New York last year. I went through some ideas of what I thought I would make going into 2022. Here we are. I have uh, what I actually made and I have new vision about what I will be making in the coming year. If you see yourself echoed in some of my chambers and it gives you insight, that would be a great outcome from this video. I encourage you to think about what you've made this year and where you want to go in this coming and hopeful, prosperous future ahead of us all. I bless us with it. I, I am sure it, it's gonna be a good year. Okay, let's get started. But before we do, I'm Robin Zelark. You can subscribe if you're not, like this video, both of which would help me. These are little sneak peeks around me at merchandise I have coming out soon. Not ready to ow, sell it yet, but oh my God. Splinter, behold and get ready and I'll show you some of the de designs in this video. First of all, if you've never been here, welcome to my website, robinzelick.com. We are going to peruse my gallery section where I have made a 2022 album of artwork. Before we do, I'll give you a little snapshot of what 2021 looked like from that gallery. Honestly, it looks nice having a hard time remembering if I did better uh, in 2022 or not. <laughs> but you can see what I mean as far as there being different styles from the year that I did, from more loose to more graphic to more uh, magical realism. But we are here for 2022. As an overview, here's what we're working with. I had expectations that I would be doing more with text this year, and you can see a few pieces where I worked in text, but honestly, it wasn't my uh, full goal in some of the ways that I thought I might lean into it more. I actually did not. But at the end of this year, I did create this boldly myself painting. At the end of last year, I thought I'd be doing stuff like that, so I thought, hey, shout out. Is there chronology to these? Darn. No, not really. In 2021, I had recently moved back to New York to live in my mom's attic and was producing videos and artwork there. So some of the early things that I made include this rework of a landscape piece that I found that I'd made in 2014. Coming off of making my book oil painting every day, I was in kind of an academic focus, but this I think is beautiful. I finished off a piece from the book that had just been an underpainting and added detail. I did make this next around the timeline. It is a self-portrait of my hands. Next, I shared this. Figured it was a good time for me and others to remember how beautiful things can be even when the world is crazy. This year did get crazy for me small landscape wave with lots of layering of color making it feel kind of busy but pretty but too busy but pretty. After that I got into a series of paintings similarly where I personally feel they got a little lost in the sauce. Other people still really liked them. That's something that's great. People can enjoy the stuff that you have a weird relationship with. And you know, they're kind of moody and stuff. This was actually during a very difficult period of time for me. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe I just associate the difficulty of that era. It was uh, coming off of uh, when I made this piece in response to a, uh, a very low point in Robin's mental health history. But honestly, this happened in April and I feel like I am only on my way up since that happened. My life is really good. I adopted a dog. My dog is conveniently laying right underneath my feet. I'm living with uh, my year and a half-ish boyfriend and I'm, I'm focused again. I'm really excited about 2023. In 2022, I saw my first decrease in overall followers and subscribers, both on Instagram and YouTube. It was also my lowest uh, video producing year since I started 
I think I only made eight videos and so that has a lot to do with it honestly but I am also refocusing what my priorities are in my art and career and I want to be diversifying my income slash revenue structure so that I'm making more art revenue versus content revenue. While I like being a content creator, I want to prioritize being an artist, so that's part of that transition and part of me also taking accountability and looking back at the assets of what 2022 was. Uh, it was a decrease in audience size. Interesting relationship, you know, with numbers and followers. It's It's been a... It's been fine though. I also made this very pretty little piece for my niece who was doing the pilgrimage of Santiago. Come, I'll put it on the screen with my brother-in-law and a group of his students. On that pilgrimage, you wear this type of shell as a symbol. Around this time, I had moved in with my boyfriend, so that's us. One of the more stylized illustrative works I made this year. Getting into more landscape work though and starting to get a little bit more in a groove, which is where I really push myself uh, ultimately this year, but where I want to really focus on pushing myself. I want to make big landscapes for 2023. So yeah, I made a few landscapes. This one is a marsh from Long Island, New York. That's where I grew up. This was a woven painting that I made using scraps from my Beyonce painting because I made that smaller this year. And then I have a whole set of work that is from the first video I made of 2021, which was my week outside painting. This is what came of that. I like the idea of magical realism in literature and bringing that into maybe some of my larger landscapes as I move forward and inserting red to the water or making black water like I also did this year. I got the idea from Matthew Cornell and it's something I've wanted to develop more as an idea so I did a little bit with that. Pretty landscapes. Another one. I finished both of these paintings and they live in New York, Long Island. Ooh. I explained on my Instagram, but you know, I'll just leave no explanation here. I'm going to show you some of the merchandise designs that I made. I started doing digital drawing and uh, art for this project. I do have a couple of them posted in the album. The art monster design as seen on this crop top behind me. The winding landscape is something I'm quite proud of. We got lightning and a crescent moon waves and even the little sunfish sailboat that I grew up sailing. My go make art glob. I love him. I think he's the cutest thing ever. And then this uh, hoodie and a spotlit pencil. That one's pretty suspicious, I think. Amidst working on all of that, I was trying to kind of up my game with landscapes and I was going a little bit bigger now. And there's some really pretty stuff from that time period. I want to continue on that projection. But I'll show you the stuff that is leading me now into the new year. Oh wait, first I made these little ones. They're mock-ups for a huge commission, like large scale commission that I'm gonna do this year. It looks like that. Oh, that's a really small file, but it's a really pretty image. Marsh water and pond scum. <laughs> Some dark Californian waves with a sunset. That one's available. A Yosemite scene. A Long Island scene. Someone I know from high school had taken that picture and I Ask to paint it. That's what happened with the Yosemite picture as well. A scene from a camping trip that I took this year. And then I also made this big boat. A very recent one. If you saw my last video, I painted Hoodie with the Pearl Earring and here it is in all its glamorous spectacle. <laughs> there are prints available of this black water. I made this and gifted it to a late boyfriend for Christmas. This one just barely sold. It's about to go home this week to Arizona. I am going to be doing a video with Super Ray Dizzle hopefully soon and these images have to do with uh, me wanting to spotlight her, get to know her, do something a little bit in her honor. So I painted her this year. This is the more abstract version of it and then there's also a mini realistic one so you'll see more about that this year though and i think that about covers our bases oh yeah i also painted a doorknob that's what my year looked like reprioritizing what's gonna make me the happiest and most fulfilled as i 
go through the future. If y'all have anything to say about what you saw, critiques, encouragements, or ideas, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you want to reflect on your own, whatever year you've had in 2022, or some of the goals you have for 2023, I'd love to hear more about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video or on my social media accounts at Robin Zelig. Uh, some things are available for purchase still behind me. Um, I never showed that one, but that, that one's for sale. And all right, bye everyone. <laughs>